So after discussing the scope based controllability and testability analysis, now let's continue towards probability based testability analysis. Okay. So first we will continue with probability based controllability rules, then we will proceed towards observability rules. So similar to that scope based analysis over here also what we will do we will find the controllability and observability so but over here the notations are quite a bit different and i am writing the same so this is uh, combinational uh, controllability but probability based okay so this is probability based controllability of signal s so we can write probability based zero controllability because it is controllability of zero this is zero right and this is one so probability based zero controllability of signal s similarly this is probability based one controllability of signal s and similarly this is just probability based observability right of signal s then so these are the three things which we will find out in any problem so uh, similarly to scope based analysis over here also we have boundary condition so as a boundary condition what we will do we will initialize co and c1 okay of primary inputs to 0 0.5 and 1 sorry through 0 0.5 only both we will initialize to 0 0.5 and zero probability of primary output is set to one okay so this is obviously the observability right the observability of primary output okay sorry uh, this is only the observability that is uh, observability probability of primary output right p o is the primary output okay and we initialize to one always as a boundary condition what does it mean it means that obviously we know that probability ranges between 0 to 1 both included right so uh, co and c1 of primary inputs are being initialized to 0.5 it means that we have half of probability okay of controlling the primary inputs while uh, uh, the observability of primary output is 100% and obviously it is a primary output right and this is observability don't get confused right so obviously we are uh, talking about primary output right and primary output is the our output only which we got at the output and obviously it is 100% observable right and 100% observ observable means what it means that it has probability 1 so that's why we are initializing this with 1 right and obviously as a rule of probability we all know that co of s plus c1 of s that is this two sum will always be one right so this thing we will be using in our calculation of probability based controllability and testability okay very much obvious thing okay but we will be using this and a small note is that smaller is the probability smaller the probability based testability measure of signal the more difficult is to control or observe the signal obviously but just remember it don't ignore it okay so it is just opposite to the scope based because in scope based higher the value 
what was that what was that higher is the value of the scope based controllability and observability more difficult is to control and observe any signal but over here exactly opposite that is higher is the value more it is more easy to control and observe any signal obviously because the if the probability of controlling and observing any signal is more then it is easy to control and observe that signal right so over here higher the value easy is to control and observe so the note is that smaller the value difficult is to control and observe right so just opposite is written okay you may take the contradiction statement that higher the value of probability based testability measure of any signal the more easy is to control and observe the signal right so we will be proceeding with one example okay to calculate the probability based measure okay and for example purpose i am considering three input and gate right and as our boundary condition says we will be initializing okay c0 and c1 both 2.5 right so i am initializing all of those okay of primary inputs 2.5 and so this is for 0 this is for 1 this is for 0 this is for 1 this is for c0 and this is c1 right and the observability okay that i am initializing as 0 okay over here we don't know first two things that is controllability right and which is what we need to find and similarly over here at the input we don't know the third one okay i hope you remember our notation that is v1 v2 v3 where this is controllability of 0 this is for 1 and this is the observability right so same notation is followed over here so our boundary condition is being initialized now we need to calculate the controllability of our output let's say the output is signal z so we need to calculate controllability of 0 and controllability of 1 obviously to be specific probability based controllability okay of 0 and 1 right so for for end gate for output to be 1 that is first of all we are calculating for c1 right because it is easy to understand for output to be 1 what should be our input all the three inputs must be 1 okay at a time so for that the same formula we are applying which we have used in scope based so obviously in probability we know that for simultaneously happening conditions we have to multiply so what we will do we will multiply the controllability okay of input signal but controllability of one that is probability based controllability of one of input signal so we will multiply 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and what will be the answer 0 0.125 right so over here we got 0 0.125 our first answer now can you guess for c0 obviously by using this rule that is c0 plus c1 equals 1 easily we will get 1 minus 0 0.125 which is nothing but 0 0.875 right so we got this answer also that is 0 0.875 right so this is how we calculate the controllability okay in next lecture we will be calculating the observability of signals okay so uh, this is the printout of page number 46 of this book vlsi test principles and architecture so here this is the whole table okay you can see this so this sign this sign is given in the table which is nothing but our product so first of all we calculated for end gate for in our example purpose so it is nothing but product of input one so input one is this one okay as per our notation so we just multiplied all those okay so we get for p1 and just subtracting from 1 okay this answer we will get this so similarly you can proceed for or gate so for or gate when output will be 0 when all inputs are 0 so it is product of all the input 0 controllabilities right and then for p1 just 1 minus this answer so in this way you can proceed for other things right important is this to xor and xnor okay you can go through whole table and uh, let me know if you have any doubt in any of the gates so uh, for xor and xnor i am uh, just briefing out, out 
that we know that for x nor when output will be 1 when input is either 1 or 0 or 0 or 1 either case is possible that is a is 1 or b is 0 or a is 0 b is 1 so either of this can be possible that's why over here we are multiplying these two cases but either of this is possible so we will multiply individual but then add so it is summation sign and not the product sign that is c1 and c1 of a and c0 of b this will be multiplied okay and c0 of a and c1 of b will be multiplied but we will take summation over here and 1 minus of this will be answer of this similarly the case for x0 that is when it will be 1 when both are 0 or both are 1 right so this is how we proceed so in next lecture we will be discussing the observability that is the next table over here so stay tuned